What is up guys? Wraith here, Greybearded Gaming Society. We are going to waste no time jumping into it tonight because as you can see, we are fully buffed to the maximum. Uh, friend of the channel and buddy Daishan came by and gave us a full complement of shaman buffs. We are going to make the absolute most out of it. We have been, of course, working a little bit. Uh, as from see, last time we got a quick session in. We were able to get some uh, some some beat sticks in. We're closing in on level 30, but with this time we uh, we have brutes three, which means we have the larger side, of course. And with these buffs, we should be able to completely maximize. We should be able to just absolutely completely maximize the amount of experience we'll get out of the side for a while. Now, obviously, the buffs won't last forever and ever, but even when they hopefully by the time they wear off, we'll have put uh, some serious damage into uh, this level and. Well, maybe even, I don't know, maybe finish it? I don't know. They, they spawn pretty quickly. We'll see how many cycles we can get. But uh, let's get to it, guys. Let's get some farming done. Alright gang, well this camp has paid off in 
Well, I was about to say it's big, big dividends. We'll just put it at big dividends. Like I said, we're, uh, we just tacked on level 30. We uh, All of our really spiffy, cool buffs are still here. These guys have all lasted for a while. Of course, we lost the, the regen. We lost the haste. The haste was huge. All oh, the haste was so huge. When we had haste, we were just mowing things under. Um, and, of course, with the regen, zero downtime. We've slowed down a hair since then. But uh, with all the other buffs, we've been able to just keep things rolling right along on quite a pretty, pretty good clip here. So we uh, have no intentions of stopping just yet. But we might end up having to... Uh, well, we'll see. We we might we, this particular session might not go on for too much longer, but we're definitely going to keep farming in this area just because it's been so good, and that has been the coolest thing so far. As we have, uh, we just hit something for seventy nine points of damage. Now I know that the buffs have a huge part to do with that, but that is the hardest that we've ever hit anything. So that is pretty spiffy cool. We're uh, coming into our own. So damage wise said everything so far the experience has still been good the cash has still been pretty good we uh, i'm pretty sure at 30 i think this is when we get like our flying kick which better upgrade for our uh our dragon punch but i'm not in a huge hurry to go train in it right now just because i don't want to leave this spot you know but uh you know we've done pretty good like i said in the cash bar we're sitting on about 45 plat worth of gold and we have, you know, several bags full of uh, decent chunks of gear. So I think by the time we get out of here, hopefully we shall have made several hundreds of plat and several levels. But we are going to keep grinding along merrily right here and see what else we can get done. And see how fast we can knock out maybe another level. You never know. Stick around, guys, and we'll check back in again in a few minutes. My time, a few seconds, yours. All right, guys, we've been trying to keep this uh, gravy train rolling. We're actually going to back off here a little bit. We, uh, a random shaman came by. I think maybe he's on the other side, maybe. And he uh, he actually gave us haste. So we've been making full taking full advantage of the haste. Uh, where we've been able to attack an even slightly lower hit point percentage just because we're doling out so much damage. But then it dawned on me. Top of everything else, like we've been rolling along pretty good. He said uh, most of our buffs, I mean, well, not most, all of our buffs have now worn off, unfortunately. And then uh, even after the, the friendly haste, we've noticed that... Uh, our experience, unfortunately, has come to an almost grinding halt. Now, it's still moving along. It could be a lot worse. But that's when I remembered the glorious little thing called the Hell Level. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Level 30 is the first one of those levels that's kind of been described as the Hell Level. Because you get to Level 30 and it just, it just takes that extra oomph to push through it. So, obviously, it's going to slow us down a little bit here. Which might not be a bad thing, though, because there's, there's two parts, you know, to the conversation. It's like, yes, it'll slow us down, but that means these guys will give experience for a long time, and we can sit here and make, hopefully, a lot of cash. We're, uh, is it, we're right now we're up to 14 of the, the flame agate, or gate, however you're supposed to say that, I don't know. And at about seven or eight plat a piece, you know, that's not bad. We've got a stack of the topaz, like, we've got gems all over the place. We have several mithril earrings now. Um, honestly, we have some pieces that we would drop if we have to in terms of like we will we would pitch some of this research gear like if the bags were totally full and like another mithril earring dropped or another kind of gem we could stack. Um, you know, we would give that stuff kind of ow, ow, calm down, calm down, champ. Man, he came on hard at the end. Thought I was gonna have to feign that for a second. But yeah, we're um, you know we're gonna try to keep this moving along. Hopefully, this will be an opportunity to uh, to make us some cash. And yes, it will slow us down, like I said, quite a bit. We're uh, we're not moving anywhere near the same speed that we were a little while ago. But we're still totally locked into level at this point. We could even uh, take a death if we had to and not uh, not lose our level. So uh, we're gonna keep going. Oh, and I guess we're at about we're at about 80 plat in straight cash now. So about 51 plat in gold, 30 plat in straight plat. And then there's, there's a cat running around at my feet who's talking to me. Apparently he thinks it's dinner time. But uh, we're going to, you know, try to keep as much cash rolling as we can. We'll push this level as much as possible. One of the things that we might do, we shall see, is I might, might, might try to see about, uh, you know, if I could find somebody close by who could give me, like, a Spirit of the Wolf or something. If we, you know, dash over, get, uh, get some of our training done, because I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure. Actually, let's let's be more than sure. Let's go P99 monkey. Because I think at level 30 is yeah, at level 30 is when we get flying kick. 
So that'll be the last of our new offensive attack abilities. Will be a flying kick, and of course that one's always cool because you get the, the spiffy graphic. And the only thing past that is at 35, we'll finally get our last of our defensive skills. Um, well, I guess you call it defensive, but uh, we'll get, uh, you know, repost. So we're, uh, we're just about a big kid in, in terms of skill sets. At that point, after that, of course, it's just putting it all to work. But we're going to sit here and keep farming for a little bit longer. We're going to give this one a little rest now that we're totally out of buffs. We're, uh, we'll back off just a little bit and make sure we get nice and uh, nice and stout on the health bar before we charge in. So we'll, we'll use this as a timer. We'll go ahead and mend up, and we won't go again until we get mend. But uh, we're going to keep pressing forward, guys, and keep the, keep the experience rolling. Stick around for me, and we'll check back in in a bit. All right, gang. So we have actually... On the last round of pulls, we have filled our bags. We actually filled up our bags before we managed to get the level. We're carrying a uh, hundred plat worth of gold, fifty plat straight platinum. It's uh, we're gonna have a good time selling this stuff. We're uh, definitely gonna have a good time. We're gonna do a couple more rounds just to see. Uh, like I said, I mean this looks research component, research component. We'll see if we can give that stuff the boot for something that's gonna make us a little bit more money. Um, you know, don't know if we're going to quite say, I think we'll probably go ahead and sell and just come back to the spot. Because, I mean, we should still be getting good experience. There's actually, there's a yellow, uh, well, yellow conning monk to me on the other side. Oh, no, our buffs were off. We had a cool shaman jump through who was going to uh, Dalnir and just stopped and just buffed us all up. I was like, this is awesome. So we've been uh, absolutely wrecking shop. But we, uh, like I said, we're, uh, we've been just rapping with a monk on the other side. Talking monkey stories and things like that. Uh, he's holding down the three. I've got the two at the moment. We're mostly, mostly both just trying to fill bag spaces at the moment. See how we do. But uh, it's that he's bigger than I am and still getting good experience. So uh, I have every intention. I think of once we, once we sell up, uh, sell off what we have here, we will probably be right back. I'm pretty sure. Now we'll drop a couple things off in the bank. Like the uh, the high quality pelts just to shed some weight and things like that. And I'm not sure we'll keep, we actually dropped like the normal pelts. Which maybe was a bad idea. We'll see. Because I mean that stuff is going to require like trying to go to the, the tunnel. Right? And trying to sell it and hope that somebody's interested. So we'll see how uh, how that goes. But yeah, like I said, a couple more kills. We're going to hit the road. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to see. You know, that's the thing I just thought about. He gave us his cool buffs and didn't give us the spirit of wolf. Rats. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch him again on the flip side and see if he can give us some sew so we can run fast to go sell because that's going to be quite the uh, quite the trip. But uh, like I said, we're going to do a couple more rounds here and then we will run back to, uh, to town. And we... Ow! What in the world is going on here? This is... Are we actually going to have to flop yet? Men just in time. Man, I thought, well, I thought we were about to have to flop this. Man, it's okay. That guy was... He was hitting us for real. But yeah, like I said, a couple more rounds. We'll see if we can uh, replace these... Uh, these, you know, crafting reagents with something a little bit more lucrative. And then uh, we'll make the run and we'll catch up about the time we're selling just to see what our uh, our grand total in cash is. So there we go. We replaced one right then and there. So let's, I guess technically we could pitch some of our just survival gear. But I hate to, I hate to drop like the shurikens and stuff. Hey, so we'll stick around for another lap, see if we can replace the rune. But uh, So stick around for me, guys. We'll do a couple more rounds of this. We'll catch up about the time we're selling, see how much money we made. All right, gang. We uh, we just now picked up uh, Spirit of the Wolf to run back, as you can see. And uh, in the time it took us to completely fill our bags, because all of our bags are now completely topped off, minus, again, we discussed, not really wanting to throw away our gear. Maybe if I did a one more bind wound, maybe. But I mean, we're holding an earring here, and... Uh, Let's do uh, shift B there. You'll get that stuff to go away. Um, we just logged back in. So we got it. We went ahead and we got our level. We are now outside the tunnel for the first time in several days. So what we're going to do now is we are going to head back to uh, the fort so we can sell. I'm trying to remember if there was trainers there. I can't remember now. It's been a long time. Um, we've never actually been stationed at a Ferroni of I in, in quite a while. But we're going to run over there, do some selling, do some trading, see can we do some training. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But stick around. We'll be right back. Off we go. We're running. All right. We have safely made it back to the fort. So let's see here. Based on my handy dandy spiffy map thingy. The, uh, the bank should be the one right in the middle. 
if I if I I think so. <laughs> I think this one's the bank. Right here, maybe. Yeah. All right. So there's the bank. So know that we have uh, 1045 right now, platinum wise. So let's uh, find somebody to sell all this stuff off to. All right, here we go. So these jade earrings and before plat a piece. Man, this is this is going to be awesome. 152 plat there. 95 plat. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. All right, let's hope oh, six plat for the ivories. A whole bag of these spiffy mithril earrings at three plat a piece. I'm actually surprised. I actually thought the mithril earrings would be more than the uh, the jade earring. Oh, and we're wearing a jade earring. Don't want to keep that. Sell that bad boy. Uh, the gold rings are not the winner here, but still worth a full plat, which is still better than a good portion of trade skill items. Now we did get um, hard to see there. We got, you know, it's basically it's a little heavier than what we had. Same armor class, but has one stamina. So we're we're gonna stay with the the slight upgrade we got off a giant that we beat up, just to uh, to get the stat. Really, honestly, it's um, you know, it was a little something we got from a giant on the way in, so we will take it. Let's see these brood hides. We're gonna try to sell the brood hides. We shall see what happens. The rest of our stuff, I think, is all. Uh, Got a few things to try to sell in the tunnel. The other bags are finally empty. I said, we'll, we'll restock. And like, open the door, let me out. Let's go over here. I guess technically we don't even have to go inside. We, yeah, we can bang through the wall. All right, so here we go. Let's see how we did here. That is not bad, gang. That is not bad at all. We made 730 plat. I think we had like a handful of plat, I think, just on us for like buffs, I want to say. So, I mean, we did not do bad at all. 1,775 plat pieces. We'll consolidate the rest of this. This is not quite going to be enough. But that is uh, that is not bad. We go over here to P99. And then we look up uh, Silver Chitin Hand Wraps. I mean, with the 30-day average, guys, we might be there. We might be there. Looking on the wiki, the 30-day average has got these things going for about 1585. So I mean, if we went to the tunnel with that kind of that kind of capital, we might have enough to get those those gloves, guys. So we might have to we might have to seriously think about a, a run to the tunnel to try to sell some of these few items we have and pick up some sight and hand wraps before we uh, go out adventuring. Um, yeah, I mean, that's going to be, you know, that'll be a huge, a huge update for us. Because on top of, right now, one, we're just wearing cloth. We'll, uh, we'll gain armor class, we'll gain resistances, and we'll gain the 22% haste, which would just be nice. No, it's not the best haste in the world. But actually, if we back this out, one, and just go look at the, um, the flowing black silk sash. Yeah, that thing's still running at like 2800 so we can actually go get the gloves now and get the same pretty much the same amount of haste yeah i think that's what we're gonna have to do guys i think we're gonna have to find ourselves a port and uh go spend some time in the tunnel but i think that will be it i think for uh for this week's adventure like i said we did a pretty good amount of farming we did get our level there's a trainer in here somewhere that we need to go find so we can learn our new spiffy flying kick and uh see what other skills we might be able to pad up a little bit we did uh play dead all the way over here just to try to work on skills and we've been slamming the min button just to make sure we work the skills up but we've got our skills in a pretty good spot when our feign death is 146 which is not bad at all i think currently i think we tack out at 160 maybe it's hard to say we'll keep playing with that i think the worst skill we have i think probably is our intimidation is awful 
and our bind wound is not great, but I mean, we've done the best we can at about 133. But challenge-wise, we're still doing great. I mean, we are, we are 30 plus for the first time in the challenge. We still have five lives left over, which is awesome. We think we have enough for some haste items if we're patient, so we might be able to get our haste gloves on. I mean, we're in a super spot, guys. I mean, I'm not going to jinx myself here, but, you know, we got a, we got a lot of potential on this character. A lot of potential on this character. We will try to sell these and those. I've been trying to decide if I was going to take and try to sell these in the uh, the tunnel as well. Maybe somebody would want to buy some silk swatches. I don't know. I've kind of been holding on to these in case you want to go back to dual wielding, but I've actually fallen in love with this beat stick. So I'm not sure if we're going to go back to dual wielding or not. But guys, like I said, I think that'll be it for now. We're going to run around here, find our trainer somewhere. Um, just totally stoked about our amount of capital here. We're about to go broke, get ourselves a haste item, but it'll be worth every penny. Hopefully next time we're picking it up in the common lands. But until then, guys, if you like what we're doing, hey, please don't forget to like, comment, maybe subscribe down below. We do love to hear from everybody, whether it's in game, whether it's in chat, whether it's in channel, that is fine by me. And as always, guys, until next time, stay safe, stay distant, stay in every quest. We'll catch you guys next week. Night, guys.